guys, join me today as we take our old candles and turn them into brand new candles. And I'm also going to show you the best ways of taking the wax out of the jars to make it as easy as possible for you. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to put three different methods to the test. I've seen all of these being done on YouTube Shorts and I really want to recreate them to really find out which ones work the best. So first we're going to freeze some wax overnight. Okay, so I've got the ones from the freezer here. I'm just going to kind of stick a knife in. Uh, oh, it cracked. Okay, this one worked. Okay, let's first see how hard it is to get the wick. There's the wick. So, oh, aha. Uh -huh. You know what, this one turned out a lot better than I expected. All in all, I'll say eight out of 10, because you have to wait overnight for it to freeze. So if you're not impatient like me, then I suppose it doesn't matter. For another two, I'm gonna pour some boiling water inside of them. So what I was thinking is that there was way too much wax and it wasn't able to fully take the entire amount up because maybe the water couldn't get fully down or melted or I don't know. So that didn't work out. However, then we decided to try it a second time with our other friends. This one I left for a good while and you can see that only a tiny bit had risen to the front. So I gave up on this one. I was like, this method doesn't work. But it turns out I just left them there overnight and then this happened. The whole thing popped up. Ta -da! Amazing, it works, it does work. Just. I had to leave it overnight. So now I'm curious, would these ones have worked if I left them overnight? We're moving forward. How hard is it to get the wick out of this one? Ooh, it's the same kind of thing as the frozen ones, so that kind of works out in our favor. For the final ones, we're going to boil the glass in the pot and just let the wax melt. So while the wax is melting, we're gonna stick a wick into our new jar that we're gonna use. So I suggest using a glue dot or a wick uh, sticker to help keep it in place. And then we're gonna place it into the center as best as possible. Melt my baby. Well, it's beginning. Let's take them out. I wanna see about the wick situation. I just wanna be as careful as you can. I can tell that this one actually looks the worst. It seems like a lot of the soot from the wick got into it. So I'm not sure if I'll use this one because we don't really want to have a lot of soot in it because it will show up into your new wax. Okay, I'll have to figure out how to take that out. So next we're gonna take a bowl, pop it on top, and we're gonna start adding in all of the wax. I found so much wax around my house, it's ridiculous. All just old pillar candles and so on. I have used everything. Let's not worry about separating the colors and the scents. I just want to see what happens if they're all thrown in together and see what kind of color and smell we end up with. If you find any soot or wick, take it out. We don't want them, they are not welcome. I'm excited. <laughs> because the heat was already on for me, I'm gonna keep it low. Honestly, if you've been throwing out all your leftover wax, you're crazy. It's like, this is fun to me. I don't know if, I think everybody could find this fun. I'm gonna use two uh, popsicle sticks to help to keep the wick in place. So you can use like popsicle sticks or any kind of sticks really, or a peg is always a great option. My glass is a bit too big for a peg. I'm hoping I have enough wax to fill this glass actually. It's definitely questionable how much we'll get out of it. If not, I'll quickly transfer it to a different glass. So I should get a glass ready. So while this wax in here is still wet, I'm just gonna go in with a tissue and then just Soak it up. I find this the easiest way to clean the wax from your glass. Melt it and then take tissue paper and soak it all up. And then you can go in with soap and water to clean it properly. You don't want all that wax going down your drain, so if you can avoid it, do. <laughs> I'm curious to see how these gold ones are going to look. If they're gonna leave little gold flecks, I probably should have took the sticker off. So once these have all melted, then we're going to go in and find the wicks to take them out. But I just felt like it was way too much work to cut each one up until I could get the wick out. I think this is just an easier option. I'm actually thinking it probably would have been smarter to make these smaller. I think we're gonna get a nice rosy color from all of this. I'm trying to break some of the wax up to speed the process along but it's not going to plan. So I'm just gonna check where we're at now. 
I do have a video in which is candle making for beginners, so definitely check that one out if you want to learn how to make candles properly. Tip for you, don't do what I did and put them in in big chunks, they're taking way too long. Take out all the wicks and all the little bits and pieces if you can. There's the gold, the gold just came out in one piece. Just take it off of the heat. Okay, I'm just checking the temperature and we are currently at 74.9. Okay, we want that to get a little cooler. We'll patiently wait. Didn't actually heat up my glass. So if I can find the hair dryer. I'm first gonna pour mine in here. Whoa, I got so much wax out of all of this. I did not see that coming. Wow, okay, let's pour it in. Please pour gently if you can and slowly. It's very cherry red right now. I wonder when it cools with it change. Oh my God, I have so much wax. I need a second jar. I don't have a second jar prepared. Let's go get another jar, hold on. Okay, we got another jar. Oh, I'm out of breath from running around. Okay. We got two wicks in. We need two sticks. Things have gotten a little messy, haven't they? Okay, let's pour. I have no idea how much wax we're gonna get out of this now. That got stressful. So I've created a bunch of air bubbles in this one. I'm just gonna gently go in and kind of poke them. But it's okay, it won't turn out perfect, I think, but it'll be fine. Okay, and now comes the hard part. We have to leave these waxes to cool for 24 hours. This wax on the inside is like coming off so nicely. I saw videos of people making like flowers from soft candles. I think you just kind of roll it. Oh, oh, it's cracking. Never mind. Maybe next time. Before it completely dries on the top, I just want to kind of add a few little rose buds in. I think this will look super cute together. Now you want to cut your wig to about a quarter of an inch away from the wax. The colour turned out pretty amazing. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. It's weak, but it's cherry with a little bit of spice. And then voila, we're all done. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.